Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Look what I got here. Surprises. I love going to the woods and finding things like this and taking them back for Nikki for a surprise. Now, the other day, a buddy of mine and I were out hunting and I saw, I kept seeing something out of the corner of my eye and I thought, why, why did somebody leave a milk jug or a soccer ball laying in the woods? And then I started thinking, I hope that's what I think it is. And it was, and it is a giant puffball mushroom. Now, when it comes to mushrooms, you have to be careful. Let me think. With a name like Destroying Angel or Death Cap, hmm, that sounds like a not very fun thing to eat. I don't know if it's Amanita or Amanita. You stay away from those. Here's a couple pictures of what they look like. Now, the difference between the giant puffball and the other family, the Destroying Angel and Death Cap stuff, which makes you die like within 24 hours, you don't want it, your kidneys shut down, and it's a horrible, horrible way to go. And why am I so comfortable out here with these particular mushrooms? Because I've been eating them for years. When we get back to the cabin, I'm gonna show you how to identify these. Now, identification on mushrooms is up to you, not up to me. Don't say, I saw Tim Farmer eating one of them mushrooms, and my brother and sister and his whole family ate one of them death caps, and they're all dead very serious business. You identify, it's not my job, I'm gonna eat this. If I die, it's my fault. These are gonna be white all the way through. If they had gills or any coloration in the middle and it wasn't the same all the way through, I would not touch these. But being that they are what I know they are, we're going back to the cabin, gonna surprise Nikki. She loves mushrooms. Now one thing about these, these have a very short shelf life. You can't leave them laying around. The quicker you eat them, the better. Don't wash them, do not wash them. You'll just take the hide off of them, they'll get all mushy and nasty. These things will eventually turn dark and they will become nothing but spores, gabillions of spores. You'll step on them, that's how they get their name. And as these spores go out into the wind and fly all over the place, these aren't gonna make it to the spore stage because they're going in my belly. They're loosely attached to the ground. You just grab them, pull them up, boom, you're good to go. Are you impressed? I want to take this and serve it like a volleyball. I'm telling you what, these are some of my favorite mushrooms to wow. eat. Now let's go ahead and cut this in half. Do not wash these. Oh my goodness. Now, do you notice that throughout that, it's the same texture. It doesn't change. There's no color changes. There's no texture changes. It's all the same. It does wow, smell good. It smells really good. Now, if you saw gills, and you know what gills mm -hmm. are in a mushroom, then don't eat it. It's that simple. These things get huge. There's no <laughs> doubt if it's this big. Now, these mushrooms you can cut up any way you want. I'm going to cut it up in a big, like, uh, like this. Here. You know what let's do? Let's take these and cut them in like strips like this. And we're going to take a little less than a Half a stick of butter. <laughs> yeah, I love this stuff. I mean, love it. You put that in there with that. And you can actually fry this too, like we did a slice. Let's do a slice too, show you how we can do this. Do a slice about like I did the other ones. Put it in there like that. Just rings, right? Yeah. You can cut them up into like long pieces, like just cut through them a couple times. Now, will they get bigger than this? Oh, yeah. These things sometimes can get three, four times size that. Really? That's why they call them a giant puff on. These have a wonderful texture. A little salt. Those smell delicious. A little pepper. No death caps or destroying angels for me, please. Just the giant puff ball today. And I joke, but it's very serious business, especially if you're a young one. Don't you dare. Take something and try to eat it before your parents have taken a look at it. Because there's stuff out there that will just flat kill you. So we just got this on medium heat, butter. That'd be good on a sandwich, those pieces. Oh yeah. And you can use this just like you'd use eggplant or even a big portobello. Now is this the only time of year these come out? or, or They come out in the fall. Just in the fall. Now these cook down. Man, the taste. Dang, try it. All right, this is what we're having for breakfast. Later on, guess who's coming out? Who? Jen Elmore. Oh, she's a good cook. You know what she's bringing? What? Brisket. Yum. It's a lunch. Mm-hmm. Here it 
is. Yum. Now see how they kind of shrunk up. Mm -hmm. Got the butter and the onions. Wow. That's really good. <laughs> now a lot of people good. like these with eggs. Mm -hmm. But this is the main wow. course. And I could keep on eating. This is delicious. Is that not delicious? Good breakfast, thank you. When you eat it, it almost has the texture of eggs. Mm -hmm. And again, a lot of people eat them with eggs. It does have that texture. Wow, that's good. Not nice. I'll be playing in the field today, picking up mushrooms. Let's eat the rest of this, clean this mess up. I think Deanne's on her way. Okay, All right. sounds good.